Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am Stephanie, and today we're going to be talking about season three of Santa Clarita Diet. And as you can tell by the thumbnail, talk about spoilers. Do not be going off and looking for season one and season two reviews on this channel because they don't exist. And um, so this is actually a Netflix original. I want to be about more than just eating people, but I also really enjoy eating people. Well, let's uh, go on with the review. Seeing that it's been out for about two weeks now, it is 10 episodes long. It is considered a comedy horror, but trust me, there's nothing horror about it because I wouldn't be watching it if it was horror because I don't do horror. I consider it more of a, for sure, comedy. It is more of a cheesy comedy, so if you're not really into that, you may not enjoy it, but I, depending on the cheesiness of it, I will I will watch it. Um, I consider this more of a comedy gruesomeness. Not everybody's cup of tea, I will tell you that because if you don't not like um like gore, you're not gonna like this because it is about zombies. So but they're like sophisticated, like well put together zombies, not like Walking Dead, Z Nation, Night of Living Dead. You know, our typical like gory zombies that are like uh, brains. Brains. Spirit you to your soul. Brain. May clean you up. So it's not about that. Um the zombies here actually still remember everything. They speak to you, go to work, have conversations, they're not trying to constantly kill you. But but yeah, when they get hungry, you know they're they're gonna want a nice juicy or actually they like earlobes because apparently they're delicious or like fingers. You really see the relationship between Eric and Abby kind of like blossom, especially there towards at the end. The cutesy teenage possible like love between these friends to like love each other who like each other but they don't want to be with each other you root for them to be together i mean i root for them to be together back to sheila and joellen <laughs> that's a spoiler in this one we find out more of who uh the knights are basically trying to kill zombies well kill zombies you think that they're trying to kill the zombies but they're not trying to kill them they're trying to um harvest them because we find out that you know, the zombies, they're kind of like vampires that they don't age. Ah, boom. I just thought about that, you guys. It's kind of like vampires. You know, vampires just, like, need to drain your blood. But zombies are just more messier because they need to, like, actually eat everything. And, you know, they eat everything. You know, they both apparently don't age. Well, you always knew that vampires don't age, but the zombies, uh, they don't age. You know, that um, Eric in season two, he made this, like, potion which stop the decaying that would become of a zombie to make you more <laughs> well no because when the one decaying which is played by nathan fillion i <laughs> just freaking love him he's just a head they forgot to give him his shots more so so you don't look as zombified right zombified yeah you're you're it's it's just to prevent the decaying oh. joe he's trying to find a way how to get into uh the to get recruited into the night to see uh syria 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 uh, syria uh. Something like that. To try to protect uh, Sheila from being murdered by, by them. But again, we think that that's what they're trying to do. But they're not. They're just trying to harvest them to get their goo. And sell it off as a stay forever young kind of cream. Some sort of like night cream, day cream. I don't know. But it's like you apply it and you remain young forever. One thing I do have to say about this is that the female roles, they're more stronger because Sheila and Abby, they're just more like, tough and they're not like grossed out about much stuff. Unlike Joel and Eric's character who are more of the wusses here. These are their own company which is all put together by uh, Gary's head. So in season one with Sheila, her first kill. I kind of keep them as a pet, I guess. You know, best friend. They're supposed to kill him but Joel just kind of 
gets very fond about him and just ends up keeping them which now kind of worked out for them because he, he did an amazing job and put everything together for the realtor party and uh just just by being ahead and having a headpiece you know how in alexa because alexa gets to move everything i think it is alexa there is like a little epidemic because uh one character kind of ends up getting gary gary to bite him and he decides hey i want to make like a bunch of zombies he like literally is not ashamed to be a zombie he loves it she obviously doesn't want to bite him to be a zombie so he kind of figures out a way basically getting the floating head to our ah, bites down and get spent so that is how he became a zombie i really want to tell you how it ends i'm not going to but i you will Mr. Ball Legs goes into Joe's ear. You didn't even know he could do that shit. And takes over some sort of like body snatcher type way. It's so funny because once, because she does throughout the whole season three, once her, her Mr. Ball Legs is trying to get him to talk. And it's like, Mama? Can you say Mama? So when he finally takes over Joe, he kind of does this weird deal. And it's just like, Mama? And then he kind of like passes out and she Joe kind of dies and Sheila bites him. <gasps> she really doesn't do very much to figure out if he's dead or not. Just kind of shaking him. But seeing that pretty much the whole season three, she's trying to convince him to become a zombie. And of course, Joe's not really fond about that. But it, again, it's not for everybody because it is more of the cheesier side. Uh, so if you don't like that, you're not going to like it. If you don't like gore, you're not going to like this because it does have a lot of like flying like limbs. Yeah, that's all I have for you guys for now. Uh, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification bell so you've been notified every time I post something. And I'll see you at concessions.